In the last decades, there have been huge advance uh, globally in a reduction of child mortality from figures from uh, 12, over 12 million of uh, deaths in uh, under fives to uh, about 5 million um, globally. Uh, this is a huge advance, but it's not enough. And uh, it happens, especially in areas of the world that are the most uh, unfavorable, uh, especially uh, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, so most of these uh, 5 million uh, children under 5 who died in the world will be uh, dying every year in this region. Uh, of this uh, number, nearly half, or uh, more than half, actually are uh, newborns, um, children uh, or infants who die in the first month of life. And these deaths in newborns are uh, directly related with the um, uh, management and the care and the quality of care around the time of delivery. These are, a very, uh, these are causes that are very well identified and they are uh, preventable and treatable uh, just by providing a better uh, quality of care of women who uh, are uh, delivering even if they are delivering in hospitals and health centers, they need to, the quality of care needs to improve in these settings. If we want to reduce at least half of uh, this uh, burden of death in the, in the world. Uh, there has been, uh, as I said, advances in, in, in reduction of uh, uh, child mortality and these are mainly due to the increase in the coverage of the vaccines that, that existed and the addition of new vaccines uh, such as the ones for, uh, against uh, different forms of pneumonia and gastrointestinal infections. And these are, uh, this advance, this improvement has been uh, mainly driven by uh, the establishment of uh, this initiative that is uh, called GABI or Vaccine Alliance that promoted the um, uh, implementation of these vaccines in, uh, in areas of the world that are le less favorable. Uh, in, in addition, the um, other, other important cause of um, um, child mortality in Africa, uh, where most of the countries are still endemic for malaria, is uh, malaria as a cause of morbidity and uh, therefore disease and death in, in children under five. Um, new uh, interventions um, and old interventions have increased in their coverage, for example, um, uh, insecticide treated bed nets are more used than they have been in the past and this has contributed to the reduction in, in child mortality due to malaria. And uh, we hope that the new malaria vaccine that is already being approved will also be implemented uh, in, the, in, the, in the short term in all countries uh, where malaria is endemic in Africa. Uh, there is still a, a, a number of children who doesn't have the access to these interventions because the channels and the uh, schemes through which they are um, distributed are not accessible to many children especially those in rural areas where malaria is more, um, is, is, is more highly transmitted. So the, the big challenge uh, that we have, especially to reduce morbidity or the disease, or the, the burden of disease and death in children in Africa is the access to, uh, of the children and their caretakers to uh, the interventions that are um, already proven to uh, reduce uh, their disease, their death, and uh, improve the quality of life. Um, at the same time, new, uh, more innovation uh, should continue in um, uh, uh, obtaining uh, better and uh, more and more affordable um, uh, tools to prevent disease and death in this country and in this group of age. Without forgetting that. Uh, the death, uh, the mortality and the disease in children, especially in the first years of life, is intimately related to the health of their mothers. So we cannot separate one to, from the other and uh, the focus of the, our efforts should be putting in uh, improving the health of the mother and the child together.